The very first step in the dialect flow integration is to create a dialect flow training agent. Once you're logged in towards your dialect flow account, you will come to a similar overview. On my account, you will also see a training agent already available, but for you, you can just go and create a new training agent by going towards the dropdown, then create new agent. From here, you can give it an agent name. If you want to do it with multiple words, do take into account that you cannot have any spaces in between. Once you gave it a name, then you can set up your default language, your default time zone, which is also really, really important because this determines the date and time that dialect flow fetches when a user requests a certain time or date. You can also set it to a Google project if you have any, or you can also create a new Google project. Lastly, you can also set this agent type as mega agent. This means that you can combine multiple dialect flow agents sub agent into one single agent for most use cases this is not necessary but it could be helpful for example if you have a restaurant uh, with multiple locations and you want to have sub agents under your account as well but for most use cases this is not necessary if you are done press the blue button at the top called create and now you will see that your training agent has been created. By default, you will have two kinds of intents. You have the default fallback intent and the default welcome intent. So these are the two intents that come with every new training agent. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can connect this training agent towards your UChat account.